hello guys welcome to my youtube channel scholar tech studio in this video i will teach you how you can import and export excel data into msc adams view okay let me explain my model i have a linear joint here so i need to move this uh, system in reciprocating moment so but uh, i have to run this simulation uh, for one minute so I have a lot of points okay so I create Excel file let me show you okay so here you can see that this is my uh, Excel file time with respect to position so what I have to do first I have to select all these data okay uh, don't select the header so I just need to select the data so copy this one okay and now go to MSC Adams view okay so now I need to assign a motion at this uh, uh, translational joint so we will go to the motion here we will select the translation and then we will select this joint okay so now uh, the motion is created and the next step I have to create a subline okay so under the element option you can find the option is Supplying, so just click on it okay so here is the name of the supply so you can change the name one two three four five or you can give any name okay so if you will see there is also a x and y so what i have to do i just need to select all these points okay so it must be blue and then right click on it and then go to paste and then i have to select yes and then yes so now you can see that my excel file the data is uh, imported into this supply and then i have to select okay so here you can see that now i have successfully create my supply and in the next step we will go to the motion and then we will right click on it and then go to modify and then we have to click on um, these three dots first we have to erase this one and then from this option we have to select the supply okay so there are different options we will select the first one and then we will click on assistant so first in the first column we have to select the time because we have in the first variable is our time okay and then here we have to select the supply so I already selected supply 2 like if you give the different supply name so you just need to write the name of the supply here and then go to ok so here you can see that the function is created and then you will click on ok and then ok so now my data is imported now i can run the simulation ok so if you will right click on it and then you will select the toggle option then all these uh, uh, icons will disappear and if you want these uh, icons so you can just select this option but I just want to uh, see the animation in good visibility so I can hide this okay and now I will go to the simulation and here I just uh, give the time step and I select the time and then I run the simulation so now you can see that it's working perfectly okay so in the next step I will teach you how you can uh, export the results into excel file so you can make the graphs or uh, you can use in any other uh, software let finish the this simulation so I, i'm going to pause the video and when this simulation will complete then i we will move to the next step okay so my simulation is completed now i need to find the revolution of uh, this pinion okay so then we will go to this uh, option and here we have to select the motor and we need to click on the double click on it and then we will go to the motor and here you can see that uh, i need uh, uh, a router angle so I will select this one and then go to add square so this is the uh, data of uh, rotor angle 
how it's move with respect to the time similarly I can select the motor RPM so these blue lines uh, represented the motor RPM but I just need this rotor angle so I select this add curves so in the next step here we have to see that this is our plot one okay and then we will go to file and here we will select the export option and then we will select the table okay so there are two options in the format so we will select the spreadsheet so here is the table so in this plot we have to specify the plot name so this is the plot is basically plot one so i will write this name plot one okay and here we have to specify the path or as well as the name of the file uh, okay so for this let's suppose i want to okay so i want to save uh, my mm, excel file in this folder so i will copy this path okay copy this path and then go to this file name so i just need to paste and then i need to uh, select the name of the file so let's suppose i want to give uh, rotor angle rotor angle dot xls so this is the uh, extension of uh, excel file okay and then i just need to set okay and now i will go to the folder so here you can see that uh, this is our rotor angle and we will we can open this one so now you can see that this is the our model name and here is the time and here is the uh, values of the rotor angle so now i have in excel file so i can create the graph or i can import into other software i hope you like my video please subscribe my youtube channel so that you can get the notification of my upcoming video.